Bob from Stranger Things hacks into the Hawkins system using BASIC to unlock the lab doors. Bob saves the day with his unlikely heroics. After watching the episode, does Bob really know how to program in BASIC? It would make sense, most Radio Shack employees in the 80s could program at least a little in BASIC. The only way to find out is to analyze his code on the Retro Coder. Using the screenshot, I went ahead and reproduced Bob's code so we could take a closer look. Let's start with line 10 highlighted in red. Bob uses a dim statement to declare the variable four digit password as an integer. In basic, one does not have to declare variables. However, Bob seems to be a man that knows what he wants and Bob wants an integer. Now let's look at lines 20 to 130. Bob created a nested loop four deep, one for each integer. He ends the loops correctly with the next statement with the variable name. Apparently the password to unlock the doors is made up of four digit integers. I find it interesting that Bob uses tabs to indent the nested for loops. People did not do that back then. Very modern, Bob. Very modern. On line 60, Bob sets the four digit password by using some sort of function name, get four digits, with the four statement variables as the parameters. No critique here, because I don't know the system, but Bob does. So if that function exists, then I have to believe that it exists. Lines 70 through 90, Bob has an if-then block. With the if statement, Bob calls another function called check password match, which takes the four digit password as a parameter and returns a boolean, depending on whether or not the password matches. Again, Bob knows the system, so I can't critique the check password match function. If the password matches, Bob has the program go to 140, which exits the loop and displays the password. So far, so good on the code, but then Bob makes a fatal error. On line 90, why Bob, why? Bob, 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 why would you terminate an if-then block with an end statement? That will end the program right then and there. Unless the first number checked is the correct password, the program will not execute the loops more than once, thus rendering the program useless because of this one misplaced end statement. The correct way to terminate an if-then block is to use an end if statement. And you were doing so well, Bob. Taking a look at line 40, it looks good. It's a simple print statement that will display the four digit password. And then finally on line 50, Bob uses the end statement correctly to end the program. After analyzing Bob's code, even though he made a huge mistake that would render it useless, I conclude that Bob does indeed know how to program in BASIC. Until next time, thanks for watching. Sit, Phoebe, sit. Good cat.